let's head over to Windows Security and uh, Services Monitoring. And, and our SharePoint is, is quite a good example on this one because we have service sensors here. And um, monitoring services on, on, on Windows machines is very easy with the WMI service sensor. So we have one here. And you can set that sensor to actually do a restart on the service if PID finds the service is stopped or paused. And we'll enable that here just for for the sensor. But what you want to do as well is put a change trigger on on such a situation because the change trigger will be um, activated, so to say, if that restart mechanism uh, mechanism is, uh, uh, goes through. And uh, you want to be notified about this because. It could be that PSG restarts the services uh, 10 times in an hour and you don't even realize that because the service is running, your application is running, but actually it was restarted by PSG uh, 10 times, 20 times in an hour. And uh, so we, with, a, with a change trigger on the sensor, you will then see, okay, something is going on with the uh, service. It doesn't really run very well because it's restarted every five minutes. So that's why I would highly, highly recommend to put a chain trigger on all service sensors that you enable this restart mechanism there. And uh, just to show you that if you have any other um, W, uh, any other service running on a machine, on a Windows machine, of course. So I'll just go service, uh, and where is it there? Add a WMI service sensor to this machine. It will show you the list of all services on the machine. So uh, quite a lot here, as you can see. Uh, we'll just take, for example, the uh, where is it? The Aufgabenplanung in this case here. So that's schedule task uh, service. Check the box, and at the end of the list, we'll have it. And uh, it might take one, two minutes until it's started, but uh, that's about it. So any service that you have on the Windows box and, and that you want to have monitored, maybe even restarted, WMI service sensors gets you going there. The different, uh, the other sensor of this topic was the security sensor. So that's WMI security sensor. And while maybe monitoring antivirus applications may not exactly or, or, or be within application monitoring. We think it's of course very important as well to ensure that your antivirus applications are up to date on the machines, uh, on your servers and hosts. So that's why this WMI uh, security sensor comes into play. And also again added by the auto discovery on, on each Windows host, it's fine. It finds so you don't need to put a, into a lot of action there and you'll quickly see okay we'll have uh, the asset not 32 running here um, it's up to date on access running but actually we do have a few machines where the windows defender is out of date or uh, even the status unknown which is okay because it's the same machine which is also have um, the not 32 running but um, you would quickly see on, on all the Windows machines if there may be one which doesn't have a, uh, or where the odd, uh, antivirus is out of date or unknown, for example. 